What is going on Adventure Nation? We are out here at Vic and Tammy's ranch. I guess this is quarantine headquarters for us. And we have been challenged by a couple of viewers, Tom and Ashanti from the Adventure Bandits YouTube channel. And uh, we normally don't do this stuff, but they asked really nice. So we thought this might be a fun thing to do and let you guys know what exactly is going on with this. And this is the 10 question quarantine challenge, I guess. Okay, we're not prepared, so. No, we're, well, we're somewhat prepared. We have the questions that they have for us, and yeah. that's, uh, that's well, about it. Well, my point it. is, like, we're not prepared as in we already have the answers. Oh, no. When have we ever been prepared for everything? These guys know us by now. Uh, never. Never. Let's get right into this, shall we? Okay. Are you ready for I'm this? Ready. I'm ready. So question number one is, how many rolls of TP do you have at this moment? Oh, this is questions for you, I have no clue. I was gonna say, it's like, do you even know or have an idea? Know. I saw you come home with actual Scott's RV stuff, the good yesterday. stuff the other day. So that was good. Yeah, yesterday I, I did my two week supply run because that's what I have been doing. I've been going to grocery shopping like two weeks at a time. And yesterday was that day and when I went through the camping area, I was surprised that all the shelves were full of toilet paper. Imagine of the that. Scots. That is the one that we love and we like Scott's uh, RV rapid dissolving toilet paper. And I brought a pack. There's a new pack. They used to have the four and the six, I believe. Now they have a pack that's an eight. Oh, we got an eight pack. And I get that I got an eight pack. So yesterday. what you're saying is we have plenty. So we have at least an eight pack and pack plus that garbage one ply stuff that you should I never know. buy ever again. Right now we're still finishing that. That you told me the other day was not that bad. That you were able to actually like it, it doesn't break it's just thin but doesn't break no but you have to roll it's like horrible i have to, you have to use roll like 35 sheets <laughs> rolled around my hand and my arm yeah it's like so, four anyways. sheets not gonna cut it so anyway we, we have, have a, a we have 14 rolls 14 rolls total cool. that should get us through the next couple next, of months yes at least so next question next question number two what has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Well, the biggest change is the fact that we cannot you travel. Can't go and, you can't travel. Yeah. And go to different places and see different people. I mean, obviously, that's not only us. I think that's everybody's yeah. change. But since you just can't be social, our life is actually traveling. I mean, that is the biggest change. Yeah, no, uh, no travel. Besides that. I will say I'm working more because I'm not traveling. I'm putting more time into the working part of it. Plus, in what I do, <laughs> I'd like to say that. What in me, what but... I do, actually, it has yeah. been an amazing time to be able to work in that part of it. Like for him, it's like not so much. He's working, but not on it. And no, he, I'm helping Vic. He's on the helping rancher. between him and Dave and Vic when he's here, and they are creating yeah. this area like better and better every day. Yeah, we're fixing now, up the ranch. If you can fix our RV too, it would be amazing. Bits and pieces. I did take care of some stuff the other day, so. That's not one of the questions. Let's just avoid that stuff. Question number three. What are you, oh, where are you currently parked and or docked? And obviously you guys know from past videos that we are with Vic and Tammy Dotson just outside of Arcadia, Florida in a little town called yes. Nocatee, Florida. And they have a, well, it used to be a 40 acre ranch. It's now a 35 acre ranch. They sold off five acres Yes. with the other house. And now we're out here, a beautiful place. Uh, you guys saw in the video the other day that there, there are T-Rexes out here, so you have to be careful. I got chased by one the other day. It was amazing. And of course you got windy too. Yeah, it got windy, but that's all right. We can we can complete this, but that's where we are. Number four, what have you gone without recently? Gone without? Yeah. I don't think we've gone without much. I mean... Eating out. Yeah, eating out, I think, is pretty much... That's our crutch, right yeah. there. That's our crutch, yeah. and that's our thing, eating out, and that's the one thing that we have not done. And I'm surprised that it has been easy. Like I, because I'm not, I have to say, I'm not huge into cooking. I will cook, but it's not like I will do simple stuff. It's not like I'm gonna, I'm that creative cook out there. I am not. So I thought it was gonna be harder, but it has not been harder. Yeah. I just kept it simple and just sit at home and it has been okay. But I think that has to do also because we have company. Right, so right. We have people like, that we can hang out with, and yes. So we, I go and cook quick, eat something, and then we go out and hang out or do something. Yeah. So you just, I think eating out is really the only thing. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not, not too much stuff. For the most part, it's been pretty decent. Number five, what are you most grateful for? For me, this is always the same. Really, 
I am grateful for having an amazing partner. Someone who is super um, but you're easy going. That, but during the quarantine. Well, nothing's changed really. Like, I guess I'm I'm grateful well, for having amazing friends. Like, we have amazing I'm friends in Tammy and Vic. I'm grateful that we were able to be in a place where there is nice people and yeah. we have space also. Uh, so, I'm grateful. I know a lot of people didn't have that chance. They got kicked out of where they were and they were forced to travel to other places and just struggle. So, but I'm fortunate that yeah, we Yeah, Vic are... and Tammy have been absolutely incredible. Yes. Yeah, so, I think I'm during the quarantine, I mean, I'm grateful for so many things. But it's like, during the quarantine, I'm so grateful that... Yeah. We were able to land here absolutely and that i got to see a brand new baby cow you can't say that stuff and then we don't show them the baby cow it's now just, you're gonna have to take the camera and go find it's it it's hard to see because the baby the mama hides it like in between brush and bushes so nobody so it's yeah. not exposed question number six is what do you miss the most during the quarantine back to the whole eating out thing <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. <laughs> I miss going and eating, eating out because that, that's part of our travel style is going and trying foods in various places. And it's and, also a little bit of a social thing yeah. too for us going out and seeing other people. I don't know. Yeah, we get into an area and it's like, hey, let's go meet so-and-so and, and have a burger or a pizza somewhere and sitting out on the water and looking out over the ocean or yeah. going to some little cool diner in a town. So I just miss going out and just walk like I'm a walker going out and walk and see stuff and everything I feel like because I have been working more I have been more on my desk more more sitting down more and I can feel it my legs can feel it my hips can feel it so <laughs> so you're saying exercise yes I think that's coming up in, an, in another question so we'll, oh, we'll, we'll okay. get to that okay. here in another question I don't know if we completely answered that but again for me it's I miss out. the most going out and yeah. walk more in different places. How long has it been since you, you've you been at a campsite? Well, Camp just site. over March 27th. March 27th is when we moved from a campsite to yeah. here. Yeah, and so. today is what, May the 6th? Sixth? Yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, so yeah, today's May 6th. So yeah, it was a little over, over a month, a month, month yeah. and a half ago. So yeah, we were at Peace River RV Park and uh, then we came down here to visit Vic and Tammy for a few days. For, yeah, for a few days and <laughs> over a month later we're still here. <laughs> and they're still so nice. Yeah. Just stay as long as you want. Don't worry about it. I think they're pretty much ready to get rid of us. <laughs> they're like, don't worry about it. But things are opening up. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Number eight. I think we're on number eight here. What's your favorite quarantine food? I don't think that's changed really either for me. Oh, I, gosh. I like when Lori makes makes tacos. She makes awesome tacos. So I like um, that. Though. The yeah, love bugs are out here. I can feel them flying yeah, around me. Look at those things. Love bug we're, season. We're, yeah, we're right there. Um, I don't know, quarantine food. I think like we have been eating a lot of popcorn. We have been eating a lot of popcorn. We've been doing a movie night almost every single night here yeah. at uh, in the quarantine outdoor, headquarters. In the outdoor TV yeah. with sound all around we need to somehow show that it's a little hard to show it all at, at night, night at, it, at night it's all lit up and we've got the outdoor tv going we've got a snack area they just got a new refrigerator in, so i'm gonna have to show you guys that stuff maybe yeah maybe we do a tour yeah. here of the yeah. like the hang around area although right now it's a little cluttered i would say well because we've got so much stuff as we're trying to clean up and, yeah, and get is, ready mm -hmm. for when they back in true. the coach onto the onto the pad it should be soon too yeah uh number nine how are oh, this is a hilarious question how are you exercising during and do or and or doing workouts <laughs> we don't I do that say, we don't do that when uh, we're not quarantining here's the thing well we don't work out per se no. we is what i was saying earlier that the we walking. go out and walk a lot and hike and see places it's not like we actually do work out no there's, um, there's, does this look like a workout body? Come on. I think the last few days, and I think that's more of a guilt thing, is like I've been trying to do a little bit of a weight exercises because I actually care with weight stuff in the RV. Uh, Paul is like, he has been, like, his workout has been I've going been working, out and yeah. doing stuff out here outdoors and cleaning up with Dave and Vic and all that stuff. So I yeah. think that has been your workout. Dragging trees around, fixing stuff. These love bugs are driving me crazy. We're trying to shoot a video here, guys. Go make your love somewhere else. Curves. Yeah, we've been uh, cleaning up. 
so it's been working on the farm again like takes me back to when I was a kid so he has cool. been actually surprisingly very chill here in the farm and and just being able to do all that stuff actually has helped him to calm down his nerves too a little bit yeah yeah absolutely it's been good. Not been, not been bad, right? I thought I was gonna go stir crazy, but I haven't been too bad. Now we haven't been completely locked down. Like we have gone, I'm gonna be complete honest here. You know, we're not totally paranoid about leaving. So like what do you mean? we've been, Where we've gone, gone to- Besides grocery shopping. We went, we went and kayaked the other day and we went and kayaked oh. down the river. We're in the middle of the river with nobody around. We're in the middle of the river with nobody around. We're in, we're in a place where there's not a lot of people around anyway. So it's, it's a little different. And... We're not in a city where if we walk outside, you're gonna immediately run yeah. into your neighbors. And the launching docks are open actually here. Yeah, the so. boating is, you're allowed to boat here. The docks are open, the launch ramps are open. They just don't want any groups of 10 or more here. So yeah, we did go down and throw the kayak in the other day. We'll have some video on that soon, but we haven't been like completely stayed, staying at, at, at home really. Well, uh, not in their V. Right. I mean, again, we're all quarantined together in this like big area. So we've been outdoors. Like yeah. I said, for me, it has been only going shopping. And it has right. been every two weeks, every 10 days, two weeks. Hitting the Walmart and stuff. Yeah, like I do like one out. And like yesterday, I went Publix, Walmart. That's 10 miles from here, 10 minutes from here. Right. And right. do my thing. So yeah, lockdown out here hasn't been much of a, a lockdown really. It's been kind of kind of cool, kind of fun. And number 10. Who are you challenging next? It says choose five. We don't know five people, really. Well, we do, but no, we, we, know don't. People, we know five but people. It's like, but not not really uh, not, not really YouTubers really, that haven't already I, done this, I'm, or that are interested in doing this. Oh my God, those love bugs. Yeah, they're they're crazy. So they're of course, like, you guys know that we have to challenge Kevin and Laura from VeganRV. Dot com. Let's see if they Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Not yeah. sure if they are into this. Either. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna challenge those guys, and uh, so you can check out their channel, veganrv.com, and uh, they'll uh, they'll have their video up here soon, I'm sure. And uh, again, I want to sh uh, thank Tom and Ashanti for for challenging us and making us do something like this. Yeah, kind of fun. Because yeah, we usually don't do this kind of stuff. So. Yeah. There is a bonus question here I saw somewhere. Okay. And the bonus question is. So why wasn't it the 11 question challenge instead of the 10 question challenge? Because it's technically sounds cooler 11. that it's the, just bonus. The 10 question challenge and then they get a bonus question? Yes. All right. Because All right. the 11 question challenge will not be as Yeah, good. okay. Doesn't sound as good. I get it. All right. So what was or will be your pandemic panic purchase? What, I will say what that- What was or will be? Yeah, was or will be your pandemic panic purchase. I will tell you guys that I don't panic in these things, this situation. It's not a panic. It's not a panic thing for me. I, I panic when my computer won't start I, and I want to throw that through the front windshield. When the world is collapsing around me, I don't panic. It's a, it's a weird thing. Big things don't make me but panic. it has nothing to do with that. It was just about the purchasing. Have you purchased something for the quarantine? For the right, but it says a panic purchase. I know, so I thought maybe like, like they were talking about rolls of toilet like paper, toilet or, paper like, or that no. kind of stuff. We really haven't. Is there anything have, that you've purchased that I, have, I don't know about? Yeah, I have. Like what? I have to say it's not like a thing. It's more like food. And, but there was yeah. one thing that when things started and I knew we have to hunker down in here kind of like in a small town. When you're in the bigger city, you have more specialty stores. So you have stores where you can buy specialty stuff like sprouts or like whole foods, stuff like that. But you, when you are here in small town that you don't have that convenience of certain foods, I think that is when I really got concerned. And I was like, okay, if we have to be here for a month, two months, three months, who knows how long, because at that point we didn't know how long. Um, I went and purchased a lot of nutritional yeast. <laughs> nutritional yeast was yes. your panic purchase? Yeah, that was like, if anything, we can live on this with tofu. I, because there's, Laura told me how to do a tofu scramble that is amazing. And I know that's the one thing we cannot go without. I will say your tofu scramble is is rock solid. It's but, it's how to make a like tofu taste very similar to scrambled eggs. It's really pretty and cool. And it's very good. But that, my point is like that's the one thing. You nutritional yeast is not here, found in like little it's tiny not towns. Found here, yeah. And obviously we I think we all did right. Like our like we bought groceries like to supply us for a month some dry goods like for right. a month or so, so. right i'm kind of thinking though they it. meant like if we went out and bought a, a bunker underground bunker or maybe you know a bunch of ar-15s or something that's what i consider a, a pandemic panic yeah, purchase but a lot of people bought a lot of toilet paper that has nothing to do with that stuff. right what did i buy i've bought nothing i really haven't 
I don't think I've bought anything. I, I don't buy things on a normal basis. Like I, I'm such a tightwad when it comes to buying stuff. You buy a lot of stuff, just nothing for the pandemic. Like what? Lately? Come on, let's get it out on camera while I'm we're here for the. Lately, but if we go through his Amazon shopping list, like past orders, I'm sure there's a lot. There. Well, I camera gear and stuff like that. My last thing was his headphones thing. See, headphone pieces. Um, it was all about making more videos. Yeah, your propellers for the propellers drone. Propellers about for the drone, making more videos. Yes, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, see, yes. it's camera gear and things like that. But I mean, yes. like when it comes to clothing, I mean, I don't. Clothing like Clothing is not your thing. Yeah, it's not my thing. This is getting way too long. We yeah, should probably end this. Kevin and Laura, it's up to you now. Take over. <laughs> there's, there's bugs. Right you there. probably guys are seeing them in the lens. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see Get those out or of not. There. Get out of there. This is not that kind of camera. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not that kind of video. Kevin and Laura, it's up to you. 10 question quarantine challenge. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Boy, we just went really long on that. Well, because you are just like, I know. put me um, on the spot, I'm very like winded. always. Mm -hmm. I know. Should we go do something now? I think popcorn is calling our name. Popcorn. It's in the middle of the afternoon. Oh, okay. All right, let's go I'm do some hungry. popcorn.